Hello, my name is William Clark, Business Development Manager for Lexus, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Lexus RC Coupe. First of all, we'll show you the key. Keyless entry. So we've got the fob. The fob consists of three buttons. We've got the lock button. We need to press the lock button, indicators flash, door mirrors fold in. Unlock button, indicators flash again. The daytime running lights come on and the door mirrors unfold and the tailgate release, which will open the tailgate release. Now we'll show you how to open the bonnet. Inside there's a lever, which we'll show you when we get round outside. However, if you follow the L of the Lexus up, place your hand in, lift the little lever, the bonnet's assisted up. We'll leave this to our Lexus trained technicians. However, there's two things that you can do. You can check the oil level using the dipstick here, and the windscreen washer, uh, and headlight washer just here, uh, normal tap water and Lexus had it in. And to close the bonnet, you just slowly put it down, just gently push into place. Now we'll show you how to put some fuel in the vehicle. With the vehicle unlocked, on the passenger side we've got the fuel flap, and if you just press the back of the fuel flap, it then opens. Revealing the fuel cap itself, we turn the cap anti clockwise and then place the cap on the housing. And then you can refuel. When you finish refueling, place the cap on, turn it clockwise until you hear a little click, and then you know the cap is all locked and place the flat van into position. To open the tailgate, as I said, we can use the uh, remote fob. So if you press the remote fob, the tailgate opens. There is also a rubberized button just next to the reverse camera, just to the right of that, which you can also press to open the tailgate. Uh, tailgate. Inside the space tailgate, we've got the tools. So we've got the towing eye, wheel wrench, and the jack assister. And here we have the tire replacement kit. There's no spare wheel on this vehicle. And then to close the tailgate, just use the assister, close it, and it locks automatically. As it's coupe, there's no rear doors, driver's door, just pull the handle to open, there's illumination around the handle. Also, just on the door opening edge, on the here, we've got the tyre pressures, loaded and unloaded tyre pressures. On the door itself, we also have the door mirror controls, the locking options, window cutoff switch, and electric window switch. And once you're comfortable in the vehicle, the presets for the memory seats. To adjust the seats, we've got these buttons on the side of the seat, which holds the seat back, the seat base, and also the electric lumbar support as well. Now, once you've made yourself comfortable in the vehicle, we'll go through some of the basic controls. So, to start the vehicle, you just depress the brake pedal and we press the start button. The steering wheel is also adjustable, electric, and also is with the memory options. And to turn the vehicle off, we just press the button here. So, once you are in the vehicle and comfortable, We've got the lighting controls and indicator stalk on the left hand side. It's got automatic lights. And on the right hand side, we've got the wiper controls, rain sensing wipers um, on this vehicle as well. Steering wheel controls on the left hand side for the audio, the phone controls, uh, and voice activation. On the right hand side, the menu for the uh, dashboard uh, and the lane keep assist. Uh, to turn that on and off. In the centre of the dashboard we've got the climate control, the heated seats and ventilated seats, the drive mode button, so eco, normal, turn it to the right for sport and then right again for sport plus and the navigation controls. Uh, automatic vehicle, so with the brake pedal depressed it then allows you to choose which gear you like, obviously reverse and drive Inside the glove box, 
We've got the locking wheel nut key. Which is in this box here. Keep this in the vehicle at all times. And the locking wheel nut key is like this. This enables the wheels to be removed. That's kept in the glove box along with the handbook and owner's manual, which goes into a lot more detail. However, if there is anything that you need to know uh, in greater detail, please feel free to contact us on the details at the bottom of the screen. And uh, thank you very much for watching our video on the new Lexus RC Coupe.